Yo, this video is a little bit different because I asked ChatGPT to rank the first seven seasons of The Flash, and this is what I got. There are some pretty valid picks here that I agree with, but the reasoning for some of them are not really valid. For season one, it said that it set up the world of the show, developed the main characters, and it had a strong overarching plot, which is fact. I completely agree. For season two, they said that it built on the foundation laid in season one, it developed the main villain, which is Zoom, and it also explored time travel. All of these I agree with. But for season three, on the other hand, it said that it was criticized for its slow pacing, which I think is cap. If anything, season three was incredibly rushed due to the bad explanations for like certain things happening throughout the season, and Savitar's backstory, and Flashpoint lasting like an episode, which I know a lot of fans were outraged about when it aired in 2017. So moving on to number four, it said that it was one of the best seasons for its well-crafted plot and Thinker being a formidable villain. I kind of disagree. I agree about it being one of the best best seasons of the show, but its plot was not greatly crafted. It was good or it was all right, but it was not greatly or well-crafted. And the Thinker was like a semi-formidable villain because of the losses that Team Flash actually did go through when they were facing him. But it wasn't the best because of how he lost. Because they set up his powers in a way in which he can calculate everything and think of like contingency plans, if that's the right word. But he later lost in like the in like a ridiculous way. And they never really followed up on, you know, Ralph and possibly having the thinker's powers, but that's a whole nother story. For season number five, it said that it had under underdeveloped characters with no clear direction, and it was considered the weakest season with a lack of direction. So I disagree with this one as well. It did have its fun moments, uh, and it had a main villain who orchestrated everything. So I don't think that there was a lack of clear direction. And how could it also be the weakest season if it's not last in the list? Because we all know that that's season seven. So moving on to number six, I agree with what they said. Uh, they had a strong start, but a weak ending and a lot of inconsistencies. Like, um, season 6A was blood work, which is really nice and fantastic. But after Crisis on Infinite Earths, that's when they changed into the Mirror Monarch arc in season 6B. And it just started to go downhill ever since then. So yeah. For season 7, finally, it said that it had, it's a mixed bag of a season from a rushed and forced ending and a lack of consistency. Now, I agree with most of what it said, but I disagree that this is a mixed bag. I think all of us can agree that season 7 is not a mixed bag. It didn't really have a strong start, and it didn't have a strong ending either. And it was definitely a rushed season with no consistency. Godspeed was like one of the worst villains, very cringy as well. And the whole God Complex arc as well, with this forces Colin, Iris, and Barry, mother and dad, and it's just like, that is certainly the worst season with no mixed bag. And like, that's just cat. So overall, ChatGBT got four truths and three lies. So yeah, that's about it for this video. Let me know your rankings of the show in the comments below. And uh, peace. I'll see you next time.